In this video, we're gonna try set of six boho paintings. Whole video would be divided into two parts. First, we'll draw the background, and then we'll draw the leaves and you know the sky and the birds on top of it. Having said that, let's just quickly jump into the video. First thing that would be required is acrylic colors. From Faber Castle, I'm using green color, flesh tint, black, brown, and white. For brushes, I'm gonna use both flat and round brushes from Faber Castle. First one is this flat brush number 030. Good to paint big shapes when you don't need precision. Second is this round brush number 025. It's good to use on big surfaces when you need little precision like circles. Last one is this thin tipped round brush number 015 for precise work. Next, we would need pencil, obviously, a compass to make circles and shapes, an eraser, obviously, we would need that, two black pens, actually, you can use one, but I'm using two, 0.8 millimeters and 0.3 millimeters, one scale, a pair of scissors to cut my washi tapes, a glass, and my washi tapes, because I don't have masking tape to mask my sheets. So to start with, first we'll draw background for all of these six sheets. I'm using washi tape to mask because I don't have masking tape here at my parents' place. Now we have to draw a circle, so pick up your compass and a pencil and mark the center on the sheet using a scale and draw a circle. Not too big, not too small, just perfect for this sheet. Now just pick up the brown color and a round thick brush and paint the circle all over. Easy breezy. That's all for this painting. You don't have to be very clean with the strokes you're painting, but just try to stay inside the circle. Moving on to the second background of the second painting, we will draw a random shape like a rock, suppose, and just repeat the same process of coloring. Pick up the brown color, your round brush, and then paint the shape all over. Again, easy breezy. Moving on to the third sheet, now pick up your scale and a pencil and draw a rectangle or square or whatever you want and take the flesh tint color which is slight pink, like it has a hint of pink in white color and take either of the round brush or the flat brush and just paint it all over. Moving on to the fourth sheet, I'm painting the whole sheet with the flesh tint color using a flat brush because it's just easier that way and we'll let it dry for some time because we have to draw a circle also on this. For our fifth sheet, which is honestly a very interesting one, again, take the flesh tint color, using a flat brush, just make random strokes up and down on the sheet, like, you know, you are painting a wall but you are not finishing it. This one is very therapeutic because, you know, you don't have to really think of making it, you know, look all neat and clean, you just have to make random stroke and you just have to enjoy the whole process. So for the last sheet, again, we're gonna use the flat brush and the flesh tint color and we're gonna paint the whole sheet. Now going back to the previous sheet where we were supposed to draw a circle, use a compass and draw a circle and you just have to paint it with the brown color. Um, again the same suggestion, you don't have to be clean with the strokes uh, but just try to be you know inside the lines, just don't you know color outside the circle. So now that we are done with our backgrounds, it's time to paint our leaves and birds and skies and everything. So for our rock background, we have to draw a line going from the center of the shape like a branch and then we'll draw leaves coming out from it. Use a green color and a thin, round, precise brush, you know, for fine lines. Draw the branch first and then later we'll draw the leaves because drawing the branch will take a little long time because you have to be very precise with the art and with the brush and leaves would be very easy comparatively. And to draw leaves, just draw whatever leaf shape you like and whatever leaf shape you know. Or either you can go for, you know, what I'm drawing or you can draw on your own basically.
it looks really nice and pretty i really love it moving on to the next one again we are going to draw a branch and leaves coming out from it use the same green color the precise brush you know for fine lines and just draw the branch and draw the leaves coming out of it you know one point which i would like to mention over here is just don't make the same leaf shape you made in the earlier uh, you know painting just try to you know you know just try to experiment with the different leaf shape in that way it will look really dynamic you know with perfect equation it look really nice just try to make different shapes and again you can go with either of the choice you can follow what i'm doing or you can do whatever you want all right so moving on to the next one again we're going to do the same thing we're going to draw the branches and leaves coming out from it again the same point just don't make the same leaves you have made in earlier two paintings just try to you know come up with a different leaf shape in this one i'm going to try with you know a little bit of round leaf shapes i'll uh, just see what i'm doing if you can try this one out then well and good then just try to you know draw something on your own a leaf design which you know you would prefer for this painting So we are done with this one again it looks really pretty moving on to the next one here we're going to take a white color and the thin precise brush and now this is very interesting guys listen to me now we're going to draw white leaves on all over the sheet just look at it it's going to look so nice so pretty it'll be very light very soothing like perfect boho painting according to me very nice very subtle and yes look at it we are done with it it it's my favorite okay this one and the strokes one are my favorite okay moving on to the next one here we are not using acrylic color here we will use this pen i'm using the 8 mm one which would be very thick and yeah i'm just going to draw leaves look at it it's easy it's honestly easy and you can do it in like 15 minutes moving on to the next one so here on this one we're going to draw birds <laughs> you got me right not the real birds because even i can't do it i'm also a beginner in boho painting just mark it tick just the tick mark and it will look like a bird and you will love it i'm pretty sure just look at it it looks so nice and we are done guys that's all that's how the whole painting came out guys like all six of them you can color coordinate them and put it on the wall you can put it in front of your study desk or maybe in your living hall uh, my favorite ones are the white leaf one and the stroke one let me know which one is your favorite and also do let me know if you try any painting out of these or maybe you try all six of them these are the sets guys and yeah thank you so much for watching guys if you guys love this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up and that will motivate me to create more artistic stuff and yeah don't forget to follow me on social media and thank you so much much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye cheers